everybody. Look at this hair. I can officially say mom life. <laughs> That's why I look like this. And I love every minute of it. So, um, really, probably shouldn't do something with my hair. But you know what? Oh, well. Today is July 7th. And um, it is actually our baby boy, Zion, is one week old today. He is the most incredible absolutely incredible thing that has ever happened to our lives um just unbelievable i get emotional but it has been the greatest week ever um it's been a long time coming and this has been the best week of my life so anyway he is in the living room right now with his nana he's sleeping um we have i'm wearing this little mama robe that i brought to the hospital um our labor and delivery vlog is being edited it was a lot of footage um i said in that vlog we didn't get a lot of the things that we of course wanted to because it did end up in basically emergency c-section not basically it was an emergency c-section um and so you know thankfully everything's good we're all good everything's fine but um yeah obviously we didn't get some of the things we wanted but i think we got a lot of really great memories and just you know looking back on that you know i love to do that so make sure you check out that vlog um it's very raw it's very real um it's you know it was it was intense and um it's worth every minute of it so i'm going to show you guys real quick we're going to go in there and see zai zai um he's sleeping we've been breastfeeding um i just got done pumping everything's going amazing it's just been like i said a week of absolute bliss i have been recovering um i feel better today than i have and to be honest it was a rough recovery physically mentally and emotionally i feel just incredible and i'm so excited physically i'm very limited um and i'm very swollen i had a lot of postpartum swelling which i didn't expect um i didn't have any swelling during my pregnancy like literally at all um so i thought oh yeah i just, I just obviously don't swell you know whatever but i have so much swelling and actually even got like water <clears throat> like blisters under my arm and the doctor said the swelling is from the fluid that they gave me in the hospital so it's been really bad but anyway <clears throat> here we are in his room i am not pregnant anymore um feels weird to not have a bump i mean i have a pudge you know but i don't have a bump um and then this is my little robe from amazon that i absolutely love so much and the swelling is actually a little bit better today which is really sad <laughs> um that's what my feet look like currently they are swollen i have no ankles um and they were worse than this so there's that my my entire my whole leg is swollen my knees are swollen yeah but we're feeling great <laughs> um let's go see you, baby boy he's just he's so cuddly you guys and just um he loves to breastfeed he loves his mom and dad he just i've never felt more loved i've never felt more love for and just any i'm just obsessed you guys i'm obsessed after four years of praying for this every single day like they always say like oh the newborn stage is really hard they cry a lot you're up all night whatever i'm up all night because i just want to look at him man he's the same way like i just want to look at him and hold him and enjoy every single moment it's just like the greatest blessing of my life and we prayed for so long for this that like hearing him cry in the night or whatever is just like it's an answer to prayer it's not an inconvenience this is all i ever wanted and i'm just so thankful so let's go look at him he's in his little boppy lounger which he loves by the way i'm definitely recommend that There he is in his little PJs. Nana's trying to disturb him. Say hi to the vlog, Zai Zai. Isn't he the most beautiful thing you've ever looked at? Okay, I'm the world on my neck. We're on our way to the one week post-op appointment for my uh, c-section 
I'm not gonna like this. I um didn't fully get ready because Zion had a little accident and he um pooped all over his clothes. He had such a cute outfit on too. I was about to vlog it. He still does that. The new outfit's cute too. Um but I put this little outfit on this morning. Looks like it's raining up there. I put this little outfit on this morning to uh, wear in pictures with my mom and dad because it said I love grandma and grandpa or something. So I'm going to have to wash it and take a picture with, it, with him in it. With them because obviously they're not going to be here forever. And um, he's got hiccups. I don't know if you hear that. But So I want to make sure that I get a picture of him with that. But he looks really cute. He had this little hat on too, but it's kind of a bigger hat. It kind of kept falling down. And now it's raining. He's so cute. He's the calmest baby. Literally ever. I went today to um, have my C-section incision looked at and make sure everything's okay. It's a one week post-op appointment. Everything looks fine. Um, I'm still pretty uncomfortable, honestly, and in quite a bit of pain, even a week out. Um, my incision actually is starting to hurt. It's been doing that, but today it's pretty bad, like where it um, has like sharp pain in it and just doesn't feel very good. And the location of it doesn't help because like if I'm sitting up and any fat is on it or anything like that, it like makes it really just uncomfortable. So getting comfortable is not the easiest thing right now, yeah, but. Look. What? Sitting outside. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> He's just cuddling with his dad. We're living the dream over here. Um, so for the past couple of days, we've had food brought to us, which has been incredible. My friend Krista brought it a couple days ago or yesterday i guess that was yesterday time is weird but then today our uh, pastor's wife brought over a meal um that's been amazing because and i obviously have not been cooking anyway but my mom has and uh it's kind of obviously you know taken a load off and really has been delicious so that's been amazing got some dessert in here i'm about to have it's super weird not having the belly anymore. I mean, I still have a little pudge and, you know, some swelling and stuff, but it's nothing like what it was. So it's like really crazy. But I also brought some of the, bought some of this today from your protein. I always hear about this and just trying to up my protein. So we have been breastfeeding. That's going good. He loves it um, and it knocks him right out. And if I don't feed like actually from the breast, I pump. Let me show you guys, I'm really proud of this. Okay. So this is what I got today from one side. This is my weaker side. <laughs> I never get as much from this side, but it's still, this is more than a feeding actually. Um, he eats about one and a half to two ounces per feeding right now. And I see why they call this stuff liquid gold because I'm like terrified of dropping it or losing it because you work very hard for this. But then this one, in a pretty short amount of time, that's a good amount. So I'm proud of it. <laughs> Having some dessert. You might not get it, but you're you're from England too. You don't care, do you? Matter because I'm going to tell you anyway. Oh. What are you doing? Are you pumping your legs? This is what we do. Just snuggle. Daddy's doing some work. We're doing some snuggling. He is so, his skin tone is absolutely perfect and he looks so dark on me. Oh. 
We're losing a passy. Hang on. Like we're dreaming a little too. He smiles in his sleep all the time. And the other day, actually, a couple of times he laughed in his sleep. Let's see if he has a dirty diaper, but I don't think so. He's wearing this little onesie today. My sister got him this, and the color looks really cute on him. But got one sock here. Yep. Isn't he just the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? He also has muscles. A little muscly baby. He's gonna need that blankie daddy. Cause the air just came on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh it's a warm blankie. You had a bath. My drink versus his drink. He's got a little milk running on there from me checking the temperature. He's laying on his dad. I really should shower. So I, um, my mom brought me a Starbucks coffee. She went out today to some stores and I asked if she'd bring this to me. I haven't had, actually I have never had this drink and I was here talking about it. It's the salted caramel cream cold brew or something. It's really good. Um, so I need to take a shower and do something besides sit here. Um, my feet are still swollen, but they're better. Really bad headache today. And, um, yeah, recovery has been honestly harder than what I expected physically. Um, it's taking, you know, a while, eight days postpartum. And I, like, still <laughs> am really uncomfortable, um, which I know C-sections are a harder recovery. Everybody says that, that that's, like, the worst part about it. Um, and it's, it was a hard recovery. And I think if you watched our labor and delivery vlog, um, I kind of had both types of labor. That's what I keep telling everybody. Like, we went all the way. It's not like it wasn't a planned C-section. It wasn't even, like, you know, we got to push the point of pushing and then said no that's not going to work and then did it we pushed for hours and hours and, and so it was basically like we did an entirety of labor and he just wouldn't come out and uh so then after hours and hours and hours it was called that we were going to have a c-section so basically I did all the work that you would need to do for uh vaginal delivery and then didn't get that kind of delivery and still had to have a c-section so um, I'm just thankful that he's safe and that, you know, that we're okay, um, you know, and that he, he's healthy and I'm healthy and all that kind of stuff, but it's definitely, um, you know, wasn't, um, wasn't easy <laughs> at all. So, and I know that a lot of people have that story, but yeah. So anyway, just kind of taking it day, day to day, I still get pain in my incision they said it looks fine and everything it's not infected or anything like that I think it's just obviously I was cut open um and really eight days it's not that long when you're I mean it's a big surgery a c-section is a big deal um and mine particularly because the baby was his ion was so far down and the, like he was ready to come out actually you could see his hair like the whole time I was pushing you could see his hair so that's how far down he was from the beginning of me pushing until hours later, you could literally see his hair. They're watching his heart rate and all that kind of stuff. It stayed real good. He was really healthy. He didn't even have like a cone head or anything like that. Somehow, God really just spared him and he was fine. But, um, it was really rough. And so, because he was so far down, the C-section was a little bit different than like it would have been. And so they were kind of concerned that I might have some damage to my bladder and several things. So they um, were really monitoring like me going to the bathroom and things like that. I think I'm fine. But yeah, it was, it was a pretty big thing. And so we're just thankful to have him here safely and that his, um, 
you know, a little heart rate was fine the whole time and all that. I just kept asking, like, is he okay? Because I knew that if I didn't get him out really quickly, it was going to turn into a C-section. I was thinking it even during the pushing. I was thinking if I don't get him out, they're going to take him out. And I didn't want that, but I wanted what was best for him. And I knew when the doctor said, like, it's time, I was not going to argue it. I knew that that was definitely the right choice. Just I wasn't going to risk it anymore. Um, I mean, I didn't want to risk it in the first place, but, you know, I wasn't going to, I wasn't willing to make a risk with that. So I just said, yeah, let's, let's go for it. So yeah, check out that vlog. It was not what I had expected, but labor, I feel like rarely is what you expect or anticipate. Um, but because I had basically two labors, right? Like I had to go through all of the natural like vaginal all that's natural but the vaginal delivery other than him actually coming out and then a c-section i've had like two different recoveries so i'm still like my cervix tore and i had some issues there and then also obviously I'm, my stomach is cut open and stapled and you know my abs are like non-existent and all of that so it's been it's been quite the recovery um but it's been manageable and you know manny has helped me a ton i don't know how people recover on their own from something like that because it's like you literally can't get up um but he's like literally done everything for me like helped me up helped me out of bed the first few days now i'm a lot better when it comes to that i mean i still need help don't get me wrong but um i can do a lot more now but the first few days I literally couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't sit up on my own. Um, the first time I tried to walk, I fell. I mean, it was just a lot. So, um, but yeah, we're blessed and I'm healthy and everything's fine. I lost some blood and things like that, but I feel better physically now. Um, so anyway, it's a little, little update. And yeah, we just been, I need a nap today, but I haven't taken one. Um, so Zion sleeps really good. He wakes up like, you know, to eat like normal and stuff. But um, he uh, was kind of a little fussy last night. And so I put on a sound machine thing from YouTube. And because he likes that, he loves like the shushing noise. Like I have that baby shusher thing. He really likes that. Um, and so I was like, let's just try like a full blown, you know, sound machine. And he loved that. He like it really helped just listening to that. And so he's really calm. But breastfeeding I think helps him. He it calms him down a lot. And breast milk, like whether I feed him like actually from the breast or from a bottle, breast milk really calms him down. Like it like knocks him out. So I think that that really helps. Um, obviously not everybody can do that. Breastfeeding is honestly really difficult, <laughs> and it takes a lot of practice. And it takes. Um, it takes time it's not something that's just super easy um even if you're pumping and stuff like that that takes so much dedication and time moms put so much effort into that so i mean it's definitely all time consuming but it's so worth it i have loved <clears throat> i absolutely love breastfeeding i'm so thankful that it's working out because it's something that i was so dead set to do like i was so excited to do it and because the vaginal delivery didn't happen the way that I'd wanted it to and I ended up needing a c-section I was so nervous that I wouldn't be able to breastfeed either and that was something that I just really not that it's connected at all but I just really wanted to be able to do that and so I'm really thankful that he's breastfeeding and he does take a bottle of pump milk as well um and I'm producing a good amount like I leaked all over today and <laughs> and it's like all TMI probably but I mean it's milk so it's not really that big of a deal um but I'm producing well and I'm really thankful for that. I know um, not everybody gets that opportunity and yeah, so I'm really thankful for that. But that's kind of a little postpartum update. He's so sweet. And the biggest blessing ever. I'm recording this on my phone. My camera is sitting over there, but too lazy to reach it right now. I'm about to go check on his diaper. I think he's gonna need to be changed in a little bit. But we've just been like this. He brought that a little bit ago. 
and he's so calm after he eats. He's just like wiped out. So, my hair is atrocious. And honestly, I care about nothing except for this right now. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just literally living the dream. We gave him a little bath last night, a little sponge bath, and he was loving it. He loves to have his head rubbed and stuff, so he loved it. Hello, everybody. Still uh, have not washed my hair or done anything, so I'm about ready to go do that. We just did a little photo shoot with Zion. I'll show you guys a little clip of that on the side of the screen. Um, he is so cute, and I just love taking pictures of him and looking at him. We have this little name sign that actually our neighbor got for us. Really sweet. I love this. Um, I just wrote it today. And it just says the name and the weight and all of that. So, got some pictures with that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to take a shower and then pump. I just realized I really need to pump because I am leaking a little bit. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and maybe pump first, but um, I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching um, the first official vlog after the labor vlog anyway with Zai Zai. Um, and yeah, we'll vlog again tomorrow. Maybe I'll have clean hair by then. You never know. So we'll see you later. Remember, you're incredible. Jesus loves you. See you in the next one. Bye.